Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be he's unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, terrible. Like <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. The return leg of a journey should be more celebrated than the departure, don't you think? From Russia with love. The recent visit of President Buhari to Russia was met with mixed feelings by Nigerians. While some believe he should have stayed at home at his duty post and faced the myriads of issues bedeviling the country and not embark on another jamboree, others are of the opinion that he should, as the president of Africa, most Africa's most populous nation and largest economy, must be present at Russia's Africa summit. The truth is, Nigeria has always had a good diplomatic relationship with Russia. As a matter of fact, Russia supported Nigeria both politically and militarily during the Civil War. President uh, Obasanjo visited Russia in March 2001, during which it said a declaration on the principle of friendly relation and partnership was signed. Also in June 2009, then President Dmitry Medvedev made an official visit to Nigeria. It was the first visit by any Russian leader to our country. It is now evident that Russia is interested in making a comeback into Africa. After years of being her political patron, Russia is now ready to solicit for Africa's business, and Nigeria, as the continent's largest economy, must position herself to a large chunk of Russia's investments. We can make do of Russia's know-how to resuscitate Ajakuta steel mill, ride on her technology to build a nuclear power plant to solve our perennial power problem or tap from her investments in railway to develop our ailing transport system, or even develop our oil and gas sector through appropriate partnership and investments. They can modernize and retool our military to cope with the demands of fight against terrorism and insurgency. Russia has donated 12 Mi-35 attack helicopters to Nigeria. In my opinion, I think the president did well in securing Russia's commitment to partner with Nigeria in key areas highlighted above. In the end, it wasn't a jamboree and we should commend Mr. President. However, what is not clear is the implementation timelines of these commitments. First of all, you guys couldn't wait. First, everybody was. First, first of all, let me be clear. Let me declare. Okay, I'm first of the. Daddy, you, you, you. First, first of all, mm. let me declare. Mm. Yeah. I love Putin, so I'm going to be biased. Are you right? Right. Yes, I do. Okay, that's like yeah. Putin. So, 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 I think Putin is a man. For real? He puts his money where he's going. No, no, no. No, no. Let's not get too excited. I'm not going to glamorize. Let your point. Let me tell you. Yeah, but I said let me put it out there first. So, so your bias is exposed. So, my bias is exposed. I like that. Um, I, I think we need we need why do you a love measure. Oh, I can't I even understand. Uh, why, I love you know, why do I? Because uh, he's, he, he's <laughs> provided a counterbalance yeah. to this hegemony that America under Obama was pushing. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, I mean, they messed up so many countries, and Russia was a bulwark against them, continuing to mess up the okay. whole. So I like that. Keep and I, you know, I mean, and he's lifted Russia out of the doldrums. You really? Yes, he has. Okay. It's not perfect. No, no ah, one is. Ah. Uh, but I, you know, I mean, so I've declared my bias. Okay. But here, here's the thing, though. Um, I think from, from, you know, um, every China did this, Europe did this, France did theirs, oh, America did Africa. theirs. Everybody's wooing Africa. Everybody recognizes that Africa is the last frontier. Um, you know, I mean, for most countries, rather than thinking of going to Mars or whatever planets everybody's thinking of, Africa is really. The bride. The bride of, of the world. Um, so Russia is no exception. And I think, you know, we need this competitiveness. And I, I like to think that, you know, and I agree with Saidu, um, yes, our president travels a lot. That is undisputable. There's no, there's no arguing that. He's off to but, England next. Yeah, but the reality is we do need 
uh, a Russia play okay. to act as some kind of um, counterbalance. But I think we need to we need to be very strategic and very smart about okay. you know because now everybody's looking to Africa, looking to Nigeria, largest economy, two hundred plus million people, very you know um, intelligent people. But how do we? What is our play? Because as someone said, I was listening, I followed this guy on Instagram, Vuzi, who's a motivational speaker and all that. He says, what is Africa's play? Mm -hmm. Because everybody has, a, 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 Europe has a strategy for Africa. Of course. America has a strategy this for is, Africa. Uh, what, is, what, is, what, is, what is Africa's strategy? Africa's strategy? What is Nigeria's for strategy for the world? Yes. And, and more specifically for, for Russia. Okay, okay. What do we want from them? It's not just someone what they want. From us. And, uh, from so Saidu so outlined some of these things, but the timelines to it and the strategic, you know, um, the method in which we we'll go about getting right. what we want yes. is usually where the problem is. Yes, I, I just want to come in on that point because uh, we mustn't forget that Russians are masters of chess. So I'm sure they've thought several steps down the line. Are we thinking likewise? Or if not, I'm sorry to sound like doom and gloom. What we saw with PNID will just be appetizer when they finish. I'm sorry to sound like I'm really skeptical about Russia. I've been to Russia, by the way. Yeah. But I just think to myself, Zradzuche, those who speak Russian. Mm -hmm. but, but I just want to say, though, I don't know how I get excited about Russia. <laughs> but I just want to say, <laughs> like, <laughs> just be done. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say that. I just feel that there's something slightly dubious about the Russian play, and, and we're right to be suspicious about them, simply because, look at people who, they don't have scruples to do with people, countries like Syria, to do with nuclear weapons. They will just, they will play their own. Well, America they, has they, scruples. They can, I'm coming now, I'm coming, let me lay it out, I'm coming. But these Americans are still hedged in by some of the, 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 the tenants, you say, of democracy. Can you imagine a country that can oh go into goodness. England? Oh my, oh I'm coming, let me finish, let me finish. I can't imagine a country that can go into England and take out somebody. And till now, they can't link the takeout. Oh, US went into you know, can you imagine Zaya, took out some um, can you imagine uh, a country uh, the leaders like of, that. Of no, and, and, and they want to resuscitate their image as a world power. You know, they want to be back on the stage. So they're happy to make use of us. Even the whole Ajakuta still thing. I say keep an eye on that one. So like I'm saying, my own emphasis will still be Let's just plan it well. Let's not get tripped on the fact that, oh, Russia wants us, we want Russia. What are we? They're, they're not Father Christmas. They're not a charity. So if they're offering us right. something, yeah. they clearly have a, a, a back end. They have a, a game plan. What is our game plan? And that's where I don't trust all this excitement. I think we don't usually plan ahead, and we usually then end up looking like we're surprised. Again, I want to say PNID will just look like child's play if, if, we're, not, if we're not organized. You know, there, there's an Igbo proverb that says, when a woman marries two husbands, she will know which one was better. Okay. So, um, the, there are good sides and bad sides to everything. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's same with this. The good side is that before we used to have power blocks, increasingly power is becoming dispersed. Yeah. There is, in the next five, ten years, or even less than that, there will be no more power block, global power block. Because the power will be so dispersed. So, and Africa may have a role to play in that process. The thing, my sense of public international law tells me that every country acts in its yeah, own interest. best interest. interest. Okay. True. Not just Russia. So, when you talk about Russia, I wouldn't talk down Russia. No. I wouldn't even think that Russia's intentions are more noble or darker than any other country that has come in. Thank you. Know, they've, yeah. been, they've been Thank you. You know, all of them have the same the intention. Yeah, the the same intentions are you me first. may fall. And, I know that and that intention is like they first, we later on. Not even But we're not putting ourselves first. So Ben, the, the question first, for me is not what Russia is coming to do. I, because what, they're coming to do what those that have come has, before has have done. Come. My priority is, and that should be Nigeria's priority. What do we want out of this? What is the need yeah. for us? Mm -hmm. True. Do we have the type of leaders that have that negotiating ability for to get the best to get the best out of the deal for Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Are they going to go? No. When I well, you kept on referring to PNI, PNI yes. right? Nigerians were part of the deal. That's what I'm saying. I had even the former went. justice of the Supreme Court. Of course. Was part of those That's advising people against your own sovereignty. Yeah, I heard that. So the, the question is, are our politicians going to remove self-interest and put national interests yeah. forward? So there, Russia has done nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. Suspicious. There is no fault on their part. And Russia is doing something actually good. Because you know. before, there was one we grew up reading a lot of literature about Russia being a closed you know, space. And now, that they're space, they're opening up. Showing us what their of presidential palace looks like, the president moving around, making more friends. It's good for Russia. But this is time for Nigerians 
particularly those that we have in put in decision making circles. What is in it for? What are they doing? What are they thinking? What is that plan? Most people for us? say if Nigeria are corrupt, they tend to say Russia are not far behind. So, but Russia have the sense. And we don't have the. I, I don't sense. think. I, 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 I don't, think I don't even now. agree with those statistics. Yeah, when I'm Nigerians I'm launder money, where do they take it to? When you speak of. Well, again, where, do, where are Nigerians hiding their billions? They're not hiding it in Nigeria. It means that this is even unsafe for them to keep their money. Those <laughs> entities, we are, those spaces. I, I, just, I just want to ask. No, no, I want no, to ask you, Kenneth. I just said anything. Else, so I, don't I, I just want to quickly time. that you mm. should please just do a little. No, no, do a little research on Russia. They never leave their their friends behind. Absolutely. Mm, that if they come in, right? Like, no, uh, no, it's true. It they like never sentiment. leave you behind. They commit, once they commit, except you, the fault, they would, they would stick up to their, their own end of the, the promise. No, yes, they would benefit. You know, everybody it's, it's all about interest. Do you understand? Ajakuta failed because we failed our own end of the bargain. We failed. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like they intentionally, it was a huge project. And they committed a whole lot I'm of resources and funds. I, I don't have anything so, to And, and here, it, clearly, so I'll, they I'll have put it. their money or where their mouth is. They've given us 12. This same MiG aircraft we've been begging countries all over the world to give us arms. Yeah, this, this thing yeah, is going to get to Nigeria to without question, all the limitations. Have they done it? Not because because now they've seen that this country, Nigeria has always been very strategic yeah. for them. Right. To every but power. at the time, they came long before, I mean, after all the, the interest was there. But we didn't want to, you know, associate with the, you know, then it was uh, the we're communist West or we're, we're more Western. I'll be the skeptic in the midst. You know, I like so Russia. So Let's I like advantage. I, I think for me, the most important thing is that, as you said, every nation should look after his own interest. So really, the, it falls onto the hands of those negotiating. Yeah. So if they don't negotiate to the best to our interest, we're yeah. going to lose out. Yeah. But if they negotiate properly, I think it's a good thing. I personally am a fan. It's an opportunity. Yeah. I, think I, think I, I, I agree it's an opportunity. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know about shaking hands, Sha, but it's an opportunity. Yeah, well, 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 it's good to fight well, 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 We've come to the end of our journey on this edition of The Advocate. However, a default disposition of The Advocate is to keep on keeping on. So keep your comments coming in our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time, let's keep advocating for a better society. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, Everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be he's unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, terrible. Very terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news.